have to get on my knees for this one. Welcome back to the Great Bear Baking Challenge. So this week I've decided that I'm going to bake you some cinnamon rolls. So let's get started. Alright, so for this first part, what we're going to need is two and three quarter cups of flour, quarter cup of sugar, two tablespoons of butter, room temperature, one egg, one package of dry yeast, uh, preferably like a quick rise yeast, half a cup of warm water, quarter cup of milk, and one teaspoon of salt. So that's just going to make the dough. Uh, for the filling we're going to need two thirds of a cup of brown sugar, quarter cup of butter, room temperature again, a uh, tablespoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla, and for the glaze that goes on top of the cinnamon rolls you're going to need one and a half cups of icing sugar, a quarter cup of butter, again room temperature, one teaspoon of vanilla, and two to three tablespoons of milk. And this whole thing is going to bake at 375 for 15 to 20 minutes. You're going to let it cool for about five minutes before you put the glaze on. Alright, so let's get started on the dough. So the very first thing I would recommend is put the milk and the warm water in a bowl with the yeast before you start weighing everything out because that has to sit for about five to ten minutes. So by the time you're done weighing everything else out or getting everything else set up, that should be ready to go. So do that first. Kind of looks like the remnants of somebody's bowl of shredded wheat. So you're going to weigh out your flour, two and three quarter cups, quarter cup of sugar. You're going to get two tablespoons of butter, one egg, and a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so you take your big bowl, you take your yeast, warm water, milk mixture, take your sugar, mix in a little bit of the flour and salt mixture, add one egg, mix that in. Okay, so I was supposed to add the butter a while ago and I totally forgot, so I'm just adding the butter now. So let's hope that this turns out all right. We'll just keep mixing with our hands. I think it might be all right. So now you're just going to want to knead it for about five minutes, incorporating in a little bit more of that flour, and you're going to want to leave a little bit more flour for the next step. Okay, so when you've kneaded it for about five minutes, you should have most of the flour absorbed into the dough. Spray with a little cooking spray. Cover with saran wrap or uh, a damp paper towel and just put it aside for about half an hour and then we'll come back to that. So for the next part here, now that our dough is rising, which what we're going to want to do is focus on the filling. So that is two thirds of a cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of butter, tablespoon of cinnamon and vanilla. So what you're going to want to do is combine the brown sugar, the cinnamon and the vanilla all together and it's going to form like a, like a light crumble. Alright, now something I just wanted to point out now with this you can actually add raisins or nuts or anything else like that that you want to add inside the crumble mixture in the middle. With everything that I bought I actually forgot raisins so I absolutely love cinnamon rolls with raisins but I'm gonna make them without. I spent probably about hundred dollars on baking supplies and I forgot raisins. Alright so we got our ingredients there so we're just gonna mix that together. So it's a nice crumble consistency now as you can see so that is perfect. Alright so now we're gonna take out our dough as you can see it's risen more than double so that is absolutely perfect. So we're going to take that, we're going to knead it, and take a rolling pin and roll it out into a nice, flat, even semi-rectangle, as close to a rectangle as you can get. So you want to sprinkle the remaining flour on the counter, on your hands, and just knead it a little bit, roll it out, and then you're good to go. Alright, perfect. So there it is. And I'm just going to knead it a little bit. Perfect. Then you grab your rolling pin, make sure you got some flour on that. And you're going to want to just, like I said, roll it out into a nice, even rectangle. The thinner you roll it out, the better, because the more rolls you'll get. Unless you like really massive thick rolls, then of course, don't roll it out quite as thin. So you can either get a few large ones or a bunch of smaller ones. I prefer the smaller ones, so we'll see how they turn out. Alright, so there we go. Nice and big. So now you're going to take your butter and brush this all over. So now you're going to want to take your crumble and just give it a nice even sprinkling all over. Alright, so that's it there. Now you're just going to want to take one end and just roll it. Alright, so there we go. Okay, so the best way to mark this area is you mark it in half and then mark each one of those 
in half and then mark each one of those halves in half and just keep going until you got the the size that you're looking for that way they're all uniform and consistent so you can see from the side that is a good roll so we'll just go and cut the rest of those now all right so including the ends we have 16 all together so you're going to want to take some cooking spray give your pan a nice coating there so I'm just going to kind of stagger them so that way as they fill out they'll all run together so we're going to wrap that in saran wrap, let it sit for another 20 minutes to half an hour, let it rise a little bit more. We're going to brush it with some butter and then bake it. So while those are in the oven, we're going to make the glaze now for the top. So that is one and a half cups of powdered sugar or icing sugar, a quarter cup of butter, teaspoon of vanilla, and two to three tablespoons of milk. So we're just going to combine all those ingredients together in a bowl. Oh my god, these are the worst scissors ever. Worst scissors ever. Of course they're the worst scissors ever. These, I think they stopped making them back in the 80s. Alright, so I'm going to sift the icing sugar now. Now with this recipe, I am using just vanilla flavoring. And love almond icing, almond glaze. So I actually went out and spent $5 on this tiny little bottle of almond. Then I realized that cinnamon and almond probably won't taste good together. So what you can do instead of making it a cinnamon roll, is you can do the brown sugar, but you can use finely chopped up almonds, roll that up and then you make an almond glaze and then you sprinkle slivered almonds over top of that so when you pull them apart they're little almond bun oh next time i am making almond buns so two to three tablespoons of milk if you could be in this kitchen right now the smell of those things cooking would probably drive you insane quarter cup of butter there's icing sugar absolutely everywhere all right so i ended up pulling them out of the oven roughly a minute early they started getting a little bit dark on the top so you're going to want to let them sit for about five minutes and then you're just going to want to pour the glaze over top. All right, so there they are. Now there's a, they're quite runny right now because it's still a little bit warm, but I'm going to plate it and see how it looks. All right, so time for the true test, the taste test. Nice and glazed all the way through. Those are decadent. Not too heavy on the glaze. Seeped right through, perfect sweet with that cinnamon. These are fantastic. All right, well, I'm gonna go devour these now. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.